Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, today, I have an ultrasound appointment for the baby and I wanna to talk to you guys real quick so that it kinda of makes sense because we're gonna to try to film. We're at a private ultrasound place and this is gonna be the first time that Jeff um, is gonna be able to come with me because it's a private place um, because our doctors and the hospital by us is not allowing any visitors. Yeah. So I wanted to kind of catch you guys up to speed because there's been some information that we haven't told you guys yet. Um, and the reason why, honestly, is just because it was like really shocking and we're still kind of processing it ourselves and we still don't know what's going on. Like we're hoping today we'll shed some more light on the situation. Um, and then we'll be able to kind of go from there and like get a better idea of what actually this situation is. So when I went to the doctor about a week and a half ago, um, it was a new, I have a new doctor. I went in for like my pregnancy, like my first appointment with them. And they did like some, you know, some tests, like an ultrasound, like an exam and all that stuff. And on the ultrasound, I will put, maybe we can put it like on the screen here. Like I took, uh, the nurse took it from, uh, my phone. Um, they saw twins. So <laughs> that's kind of wild, right? So I was like yeah. in there by myself. But. And right, so I was in there by myself and they did this ultrasound, um, but it's not all great news because what the doctor said is that they showed me that there were like two little sacks and stuff, but I was still pretty early. It was like, it was only like seven, seven weeks, I think. But they said that it's either the placement, like they think that one's like behind the other, but they could only see like one baby in one heartbeat. So she said to be prepared that there might at the end of the day be one. So that's kind of weird. It's really weird. I'm not really um, sure what to think about that. I, right. So this whole like last like two weeks or week and a half or whatever, we've been like, well, I've been kind of stressed out about it. Um, just kind of wondering like, okay, like what's the situation? I don't know. Are there, is there one? Is there two? Like, and then Melissa looked online for like the situation and it's like a ton of different things it could be. Yeah. So, so it's, I don't know if we're going to see twins today. I don't know if we're going to see just, the, so when they did see, did the other one. ultrasound, they saw like they could see one baby in like a heartbeat and everything, but because the other sack was like so far, like it was just that positioning was awkward. They literally like couldn't see in it at all. They didn't see anything. So we might see two babies today. We might see one baby today. Um, but that's what's going on. So we've so, had... So if you want to explain this real quick, like the sacks, because I didn't really know this. I guess there's like, if there was an egg, it makes a sack in your... Yeah, so there's different uterus. types of twins. Like identical twins are, t are like in the same sack and like they can share a placenta or have their own placentas from what I understand. And so that would be like if there's two babies in the same same one. And that's identical? That's twins? identical. So the kind that they saw on me, which they said is the most common, is when there's two sacks, which means you have two eggs and that they both got fertilized or whatever at the same time or around the same time. And that's like one of the ways of like fraternal twins yeah. where, you know, they could be like two different genders. They don't look identical, um, but that's like the most common type. Um, there's not twins in my family. There's not twins in your family. So no. like I said, it was really shocking that to even find out that in the first place. And then of course, like being unsure of like, okay, well we don't know like if one's okay or not. It's just been like a really it's stressful a lot to week. digest. So this ultrasound today is actually, like I said, at a private ultrasound place um, that is allowing visitors. So Jeff can come in and see the baby and we can like take a little bit of, we can take a little bit of footage. Like, so if we, we're able to, we'll put it in the vlog after this. So you guys can see kind of what's going on. I hope that they're able to clarify for it, us, for us like today, like yeah. kind of what the situation is. Um, if they can't tell or they can't see anything, I do have another doctor's appointment scheduled for right after Thanksgiving to follow up on this issue and do like a more in-depth ultrasound and tests and stuff. So no matter what, like by the beginning of December, like we'll know what's going on, but it's just been like a lot. So, um, I've been really sick, so I don't know if that has anything to do with like extra hormones and stuff. I've talked about it a lot on Instagram yeah. stories. Um, I know that I think your HCG is higher when you have more than one baby. Um, or more than one sack. Like I said, it might, it's possible that it's just a sack and like the baby never developed. Like the doctor said that that happens sometimes. Um, but it was just too early last time for them to really be able to tell. So I don't know how long I've been talking. I feel like it's been a long time. So we're going to take you guys in with us to the doctor and I guess we're all going to find out what's, what's going up? on. Yeah. So, all right, I guess let's go. Peeking at what you got in there, huh? 
Yeah, we had an ultrasound about a week and a half ago, and the doctor said that, well, they could see one baby, one heartbeat, but they think that it might be twins. They okay. saw another sack, but it was like, too early position, right? It was early and it was like behind. So we're just kind of like, ugh, we want to know what's going on. Exactly. Especially if you're going to have to plan for twins. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Groot. Yeah. <laughs> I am so Groot. This is actually, I'm getting a better angle. That is one baby for sure. Okay. And this, I cannot be positive. A little peanut. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of a little peanut. So, it looks like there's still no update. On inconclu inconclusive. Inconclusive. So there's definitely still two sacks. They could definitely see the heartbeat on one baby, just like the ultrasound showed last week. The other sack is still there. Like the doctor from last week was saying that, like, you know, it could go if you were miscarrying one, like it would slowly go away, like we wouldn't be able to see it anymore, but it's definitely still there too. But the shadowing, like they weren't able to see what's going on in there. So basically, what we just explained to you guys a little bit ago is still the situation. So still don't know. There's at least one healthy baby in there, based on the little ultrasound footage that yeah. Jeff will either have played already or will put on the screen here for you guys to see. And I mean, I I don't know. I have anxiety. <laughs> I have anxiety. Like I don't know what to like. I just don't know. Like and we can just wait. We have to wait a couple more weeks. I guess in a couple weeks from now, I'll have another ultrasound. And at that point, they should be able to for sure see what's going on. So I was hoping to have some more information. I know you were. <laughs> I was really, really, really hoping to have some more information today. And now I just feel like exactly the same. We did get some cute pictures though. Let me show them the pictures quick. Yeah. Let's see. And formula samples, like, oh my gosh, already? Starting with that? I don't know. Okay, so, let's see, these look kind of the same. So here's, here's one, so that's one baby. And then if you kind of look like right here, and you probably saw in the ultrasound footage too, like this one's kind of further back, but there's another sack right there. So if you guys are wondering what that is. But this baby that's in the front, they could see um, the heartbeat, which is exactly how it showed last week too. Like the doctor last week was able to measure the baby and see a healthy heartbeat and everything. Um, so that's what's going on guys. So thanks for, uh, watching this video and I'm sure that you guys are probably hoping for some better news just like I was or more news or, or news. more news or any news. Um, but as soon as we have any more information, uh, we will, we'll let you guys know. So thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.